rural friends near the American cemetery at Fiocor. This is the Saint Mihiel American Cemetery. It's uh, south of Verdun in the area where the Allies. This is sand from Normandy being applied to the lettering. If you ever put tile in your house, you're very good at grouting. I <laughs> said <laughs> so we just plant a little US flag and a French flag by the cross, but on each cross uh, for Memorial Day. So here you have 4,153 crosses. So I just multiply by two. So it's about 8,296 flags that oh, uh, mm -hmm. we plant uh, for each Memorial Day. Oh, very good. Okay, they're gonna, um, they're gonna stay uh, on place for about three days, and uh, if the, the the weather, you know, permits it, on Tuesday morning we we'll begin to uh, take out all the flies. Holmes R. Van Rensler, as you can see, died uh, two days before the war ended, First World War. He's buried in the American Saint Mihiel Cemetery. Theocor Regneville with uh, over 4,000 of his comrades were gathered here mainly because this fellow here, Mr. August Odell Williams, is my grandfather. And um, you see him he's in his soldier outfit. He served in the 26th Engineers and was uh, mainly involved in supplying water, obtaining water sources and purifying the water for drinking for the troops. So this Mr. Williams um, had a stepfather by the name of Van Rensler. They are from New York, the Van Rensler family, prominent family, related to uh, the first Van Renslers who uh, funded some of the first settlements there. Here's the internet information on this H.R. Van Rensler, the private the 50th Engineer Regiment, and as I said, he died two days before the war ended. Typical of American military cemeteries, you see this fellow is from New York. The one behind him was from Oklahoma. Over here we have Pennsylvania to the right. To the left we have Iowa. So typically kids from all over the country came over here and never came back. In the First World War, um, most, well, most of the troops were buried here initially and then the majority actually were then moved back to the states in the years of like 1919, 1920, 1921 to be buried in the family cemetery or near their home. So uh, less than a third of the troops who died here are buried in France still. I think there are about a hundred thousand American casualties or deaths in World War One. There's like 30,000 buried in France. Just to take a visual of the cemetery here. See the cross is all laid out in rows. Central trees. Lots more crosses over on this side. The trees are sort of in the middle, I think, of the array. More trees down the center was another